How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Brian the Divine Halo here with you. Going to do your tarot card reading. That's right. <clears throat> How you doing? It was nice and cool all day today. And it's a little hot here in the afternoon. So still enjoying this beautiful weather. Right. So we're going to do Aquarius Pisces. Okay. So Aquarius Pisces cusps. Now, noobs, if you don't know, Okay, if you watch this video and it doesn't resonate, feel free to go and look at Aquarius, Pisces, somewhere in your chart, and you can watch that video, okay? Because I don't do placement readings, I just do cusps, so if it doesn't fit, it won't ship. So you can watch, like I said, the other signs in your placements and see if that is going to resonate for you. Otherwise, just go outside and have fun. <laughs> All right, so Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, like I said, thank you for clicking the video. Might as well hit that like button, notification bell, and subscriptions. All right, so you can become part of the Divine family. All right, so let me bust the move here. Shuffle these up, and then we'll get into your message today, okay? Because it is for the present moment. And I do lay new cards, two cards out in the beginning, so then you can catch the energy of... The present moment so that's going to be the duality of yourself that's your yin and your yang positive negative light and dark side right because we all have that you have two eyes you have two nose you have two ears two legs mm, what do we got here ah too early all right so do you understand that good all right so then i'll lay more cards out tell you a story that story will have your message after your message i'll throw some cards for the outcome and then you'll be done they're all right side up. I don't know. Come hit the deck. I don't know if I put them up right. Because I don't do reversals. Oh, let's go. Picky cards. Here you go. Look at you celebrating. Da, 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 da. Or it could be a third party. Yeah. A little too early to tell. So let's uh, keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. <laughs> kind of in a silly mood. I hope you guys caught my uh, public service announcement video that I just did in my uh, other one of uh, Frenchie McNugget. McNuggins. <laughs> Frenchie McNuggins. That's funny. All right. Here's your second card. Victory. So it is celebration and there is no third party. It is definitely victory, success. Congratulations on your triumphant forward movement. And you have the three cups. So no wonder you can celebrate. Celebrate some kind of victory what that is we're gonna find out can I have cups bam in your face in your face there it is knight of cups well you know that's that's moving forward still that's taking some kind of action emotionally but it could be like Player energy, right? Maybe there was somebody trying to offer you some kind of fake baloney, uh, malarkey kind of offer, and uh, you said, no thanks, I'm happy where I'm at celebrating. I got the hiccups, I had sushi. <laughs> okay, here we go, here's the next card. Yeah, I, ate, I, I just love sushi, so I ate the whole damn thing, and now I got the hiccups. This one was weird, though. It had, like, celery in it and shit. I was like, I don't know. Am I going vegan or something? Probably. Look at you happy. Boom. Yeah. So, I think it's definitely... Uh, you, like, caught on to somebody trying to, like, you know, be flirtatious. Come around in this, oh, lovey-dovey kind of attitude. But it's just player energy, right? And you're victorious over that. You're celebrating your own happiness. What do you think? <coughs> Because you overcame and took the high road, right? There's a lot of people vying for you right here. See all those wands on the bottom? Those are other people. So you took the high road for sure. For your own happiness. You're done with the player energy stuff. That's why you have victory. So you're definitely uh, on top of it. 
That's good. I like that. You're on top of your own happiness. I don't want to be a player no more. Psh, there you go. That's you with the bandana on. The wounded warrior, right? You put all this stuff behind you, right? So those wands are these wands. The nine of wands that are behind him or the seven of wands in front of him. It makes sense to be going through the battles of fighting off these kind of player energies to what? Put them behind you and stand strong to what you want to believe in because wands are your passions, your fire, your mojo, and your drive. Boom. How do you like that? I like that. Does that tickle your fancy? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I like all those sunflowers in the sun card. Because sunflowers do represent that sun. Huh, there you go. By yourself. See that? That's you by yourself. Wow. This is marvelous because you're single, abundant, independent, very independent, stable. Oh, this is just a beautiful reading. And you have options. Right? So you're not settling for one kind of deal, one kind of way of a person. Like player energies that just kind of want to come in and take off. Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're standing your ground for your own happiness. You're putting a schnit sh behind you mm -hmm, to remain single because, you know, you're going to look to see if you have other options. I don't think I can get any more clear than that. Ready for your next card? Are you sure? Oh, Eight of Swords. Another in your face. Right, so now you got the Eight of Swords, right? You know, a little bit of... Um, stuck in a mental prison about all the options. You're wondering if everybody's a player. What? Yeah! That's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it. There's your justice. I can't help it. I just come out in these readings and everybody loves it. So I enjoy it. And it gets... It gets uh, me the opportunity to be myself. So what you see here, it's not an act. It's not a joke. You can ask anybody in real life, I'm this goofy. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, well, not goofy. It's just, it's just I have a very upbeat, positive energy. Right. So there's your justice. You got your balance. Right. Justice will be had. Don't stress about thinking too much of all these options that are uh, possibly these kind of player people. Remember, stand strong in that wounded warrior, right? So we got to go through battles sometimes, you know. Let's just take a break. <clears throat> a lot of people judge, right? And I can't stand that because no one allows, no one's allowed to judge but God. So shame on everybody that judges, right? But a lot of people judge other people because they go through, they burn through all these relationships, right? So say you date somebody for like a couple months and you, you find out some things that just doesn't work and you, and you go and then, you, you know. Just jump right back on the meat wagon, <laughs> no pun intended, and find another person. It just works out for a little bit, you know, on and on and on. All right? It doesn't mean you're a serial dater. It doesn't mean shit. It just means that, that those people weren't up on your vibration or on your level or on your intellect or on anything that clicked long enough to stay for the long term, right? So sometimes you just got to call a draw. Thank you. See you later. If you get too tired of it, which this is what you're going through. Too tired of all that. So you're just putting the brakes on being single because there are options. But all those options are too confusing. Because they're all just so like that player energy. Right. So. It's it's not bad to, you know, I mean, you got to take a little kind of a break. You can't run through 15 people in, in like two weeks. It's a lot. It's a very extreme example. But you know what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> so other people judge that and they say, oh, look at that, you know, and I think that's fireball. Because if a person wants to find the other person that connects on their level to be their other half, their mirror, um, well, life is only going to be better. So how the hell don't you want to find that? Just saying. Let's keep going with the reading. All right. Here we go. Oh, man, see, you've been taking the high road and wanting an official, long-term, higher-level commitment. That's the higher thing. I mean, I'm good. I can't help my readings. They're just right on point. It's like I know what the whole story and the plot is, and 
I have to somehow translate it to you because I just telling you, you'd be like, oh, so now I got to show the visuals, explain the definitions, and then put in the intuition to it, and then it makes sense, right? That's how I roll people. So hit that like button, subscribe. There you go. Walking away from anything that doesn't serve you emotionally. These players do not serve anybody except for the moment. And then they're gone. In and out. That's what a hamburger is all about. Right? So eight of so eight cups here. You're just walking away from anything that's not a higher level commitment. Eight of cups, higher fee. Let's continue. All right. This is looking pretty good. It's like you definitely uh know what you want and you're standing your ground for it. That's right. What do we got? Ah, uh, see, you're holding out for that romantic deal, right? That romantic, long-term, frisky, passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands. That's bueno. See, let me give you a little diagram. Exhibit A. Nine of Wands. See that wand he's holding? That's this wand. That's what you want. That's what you're holding on for. Exhibit B. See those lady cups? Walking away from things that don't emotionally serve you? Those are those wands behind you. Which are these type of people. You get it? <laughs> Good. Great. Sorry I had to break it down like, you know, elementary school style, but... I like uh, the picture graphs and, you know, going with the definitions to help you really get the message, okay? I'm that deep, okay? So that's why a lot of people don't watch my stuff because they get lost right away because I don't know why. Maybe they're just not as intelligent as I think they are. <laughs> or they're just not a cusper because cusps are rare, my friends. Not everybody on this planet is a cusper, okay? So that's why we're a tight-knit family. Appreciate that. Let's get to the last card of your story, and then I'll bust a move and get to your ending. And you'll be free to roam about the cabin. Yeah, see, you want that family, that stability, that long-term foreverness, that total structure and everything. That's nice. That's really beautiful. You can't get better than the Ace of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Shut up. <laughs> All right, that's serious, straight up. That's a good, good match. Because you're holding out for this hierophant, this higher level uh, commitment, this higher level relationship. How do you like that? Cheers, my friends. Here comes the ending. Ah. All right, let's get two for the ending. Here's the first one. Yeah, and you are standing defensive and guarded against the garbage. I say garbage, my friends. That's right. Walking away from things that don't emotionally serve you because you're still standing there waiting for that higher level commitment. What you peeking at? What do you got here? Ooh, sassy pants. Well, I mean, you are attractive. No doubt about it. Right? And creative. A little dark. A little sassy, right? That sarcasm is sh It kind of reminds me of a Scorpio with jokes. <laughs> no offense to my Scorpios but uh, sometimes uh, it's hard to read you guys because uh, you could be having a great day laughing uh, having a great day and really in a good mood and you just have the same um, I don't want to say RBF <laughs> uh, but, but when you're asked hey are you okay you having a good time you're like I'm free and having a blast. Best time of my life. With no facial expressions. <laughs> that's Scorpio. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So that's kind of this, right? You're, you're, you're in this kind of energy. This is kind of how you are now because you've had to go through some crap and some players and things like that to really stand your ground and hold out for justice to have this higher level of relationship, which is a romantic opportunity that will give you tons of abundance in any which way you're trying to seek it. So... Stay sassy, my friends. I'll see you later. That has been your reading. Oh, that was fantastic. I love that. I might just try to fit that in the title. Something like that. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, my friends. Hey, when you go to Subway, or you go to Kentucky Fried Pigeon, you know what I mean? Tell everybody about my channel. Let them know what's going on. Send them over here to become part of the family. You know what I'm saying? 
Appreciate your time and your energy and effort. Have a blessed day, my friends. We'll see you again.